Hey, welcome back. It's day 11 of school, September the 22nd. And we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in and update our calendar grid marker. Is it what you expected? I think by now we're pretty much able to figure out what the next marker is gonna look like. And as always, not only do we need to know what it's gonna look like, we also have to figure out the equivalent modern number. Okay, so let's fill it in. We have two scrolls, so 200, four heel bones, 40, and two staff. Right, 242. I'm going to fill that in. Right, now we're going to jump to Calendar Collector, where we're going to spend the bulk of our time today. So if it's day 11, that means we need to add another six inch piece. So here we go. It looks like we're almost close to filling up another yard. I wonder, remember when we first started Number Corner and on our third day, I think it was, where we introduced Calendar Collector? Well, you guys made some predictions about how many inches you thought we were going to collect for the month. Does anybody think they want to change their prediction at this point based on what we have so far? If you do, just jot it down so you can remember what your new prediction is. Okay, so we have our 11th day or our 11th collection of 6 inches. So now we need to record that on our recording sheet. Before we add um, today's equivalent number of inches, feet, and yards, I want to talk specifically about um, observations you've made thus far for our recording sheet. So take a moment and look at it, and then tell me what it is you're noticing. Are there any patterns? How are you figuring out what goes where? I encourage you to try to find patterns that you may not have noticed before. Right, it looks like sometimes we have a whole number and sometimes we have a fraction. But I'm wondering, are there times that we can have both a whole number and a fraction? Yeah, let's look at day two. On day two, we have a whole number, but could we also add a fraction here? We could, and we've kind of done it on some of the days down here. So we know that we have one whole foot, and that one six inch piece is worth one half. So on day two, if we have two of those one half pieces, then what fraction would that be? Right, it would be two halves. So then let's look at day four and do the same thing. We have, oops, okay, so we have two whole feet, but what is that in fractions? How could I write that as a fraction? Good, four halves. Do you see any other days where we can do the same thing? Yeah, on day six and on day eight. So let's go to day six. Here we have three feet, but we could also write that as a fraction. So what fraction is it? Okay, so in one whole foot, that's two halves. Now we have three whole feet. So we have two halves, that's two halves, that's two halves. Right, so we have six halves. Good job. Okay, so how about day eight?
Okay, so two halves four times, two halves, two halves, two halves, two halves, two, four, six, eight halves. All right, so now I think we're really ready to notice a pattern that maybe we hadn't seen before. Do you see it? Right, so it looks like the day that we're talking about has um, the same numerator in the feet column. So on day one, we have one half. On day two, we have two halves. On day three, we have three halves. On day four, we have four halves. Very nice. Can we fix that for day five then? How many half pieces would that be? Just to make it a whole number and a fraction. So the day before we have four halves, so now we have five halves, right. And if it follows that same pattern, on the fifth day we should have five halves. Six days, six halves, seven halves, eight halves, nine halves, ten halves. So based on that, we can go ahead and fill in day 11. How many halves do we have? You got it. 11 halves. And if I were to write that as a whole number and a fraction, what would it be? Good. It would be 5 and a half. Awesome. All right. Anything else you've noticed? Okay, so you've noticed that the yards have some equivalent fractions. So 2 6 is equal to 1 3rd and 3 6 is equal to 1 half. 4 6 is equal to 2 thirds. That's good thinking. Okay, now let's talk about then how many yards there are today. Yesterday was 1 and 4 6, and every day we're adding a sixth of a yard, which is a six inch piece. So now we have 1. And five six. Good. Well, since we talked about some of those equivalent fractions, and we know one six is a third, uh, or excuse me, two six is a third, three six is a half, four six is two third. Can we write something else for day ten where we put one and four six? Right. It's the same as one and two thirds. Good job. And we've already done that for day eight, where one and two six is equal to one and one third. All right. Well, how are we going to figure out how many inches? How have you been doing it every day now so far? What's your strategy? So you just add six to the number before. That's good thinking. Oh, some of you are using known facts. That's awesome. So 11 times 6 is, you got it, 66 inches. All right. Well, let's talk a little more in depth then. We talked about how you figured out inches, and we've only talked about what you noticed in patterns for feet and yards. Let's talk specifically about how you're figuring out the feet. Okay, so you think about the number of inches and then you figure out how many feet that is. Can you elaborate on that? So you know one six inch piece is a half, and so every day you're just adding a half. Very nice. And what happens when we have two halves? Right, that makes one whole foot. I want to challenge you to think about how you could figure out the feet a different way. So on day one, it's a half. On day two, it's one whole. On day three, it's one and a half. On day four, it's two holes. So what could we say about that? 
Right, so the number of feet is half the day that it is. So on day six, our feet are going to be half of six, which is three. Good. So then what might our feet be on day 15? Now let's say day 14. Right, half of 14 is seven. Very good. Let's think about one more. Even though we don't have 18, 19, 20 days of school in September, how many feet do you think there would be on day 18? Good, half of 18 is nine. So then how many feet would there be on day 19? Nine and a half, you got it. Well, let's do the same thing with yards. How are you figuring out the yards? And I challenge you to think about another way that you could figure out how many yards there are. Good, it kind of follows the same pattern as the feet. So whatever day it is, that's, the num that's gonna be our numerator. So day one, one six, day two, two six, day three, three six, and so on. Well, if that's the case, how many six are we gonna have on day 15? 15, six, you got it. You guys have done a really good job figuring out how many feet and how many yards we have each day that we update our calendar collector um, recording sheet. And I will tell you that the more we work with this, the better at it you're gonna become. And it's setting you up for success because we're gonna be working with fractions later in the year. And when we get there, you're going to have a really good understanding of fractions because of all the work that you've done with our calendar collector. Now, guess what? That's actually it for today's number corner. So you did it. We finished day 11. Come back tomorrow to see what happens for day 12. Bye.